Hey friends, this is just a little video to uh, show a buddy from work what I bought the other day. Uh, he doesn't have a layout or anything, but I, he, I think he has a train set that he sets up every once in a while. And uh, we talk about model railroading at work every now and then. And uh, he's he just has a DC set up, and I've been telling him about DCC and all the cool stuff you can do with it. And uh, I recently bought the Digitrax PR4, and I have the JRMI uh, program running on the computer. And uh, this is just a video to show him and anyone else that wants to watch uh, what I've been doing with it. I guess I should start out by showing you the basics, um, kind of what you start out with. So inside each of these locomotives is a little computer. And uh, these things, the, com the command station or the controller, um, sends out signals through the rails telling the computer what to do so you know go forward go backward um, turn on the lights that kind of stuff how fast to go Let's see. this is a basic decoder some of the uh, fancier ones the ones in my other engines are Digitrax and they have uh, little pads you can solder different functions to so I can add lights or add sound whatever this one I don't think it has any pads to solder anything to I haven't really researched it though this is my controller ignore the mess of wires it's not certainly not a permanent situation there but uh, I'm gonna clean that up eventually so to start an engine, turn the track power on and then you hit loco and for that little blue one I had there uh, 3731 which was its road number hit loco and then he start, starts to move as you uh, turn up the speed and I can turn on the lights and turn them off with a button Pretty cool. Now for this stuff you don't really need the computer. You can this you don't need the computer to do this kind of stuff. But I will show you what you can do with the computer. Now this is the little box I bought. It uh, this one is a USB, it goes to the computer. This gray cable goes to my controller at the back here. And then the black wire here is just the power for the box. I will eventually mount this to the layout somewhere. I just haven't really figured out where I want it. I'm probably going to get a longer cable to run it right around the layout so I can have it at my desk. Let's see if I can figure this out. Shift print screen. I'll do the whole thing. Okay, open decoder pro. Takes a minute. I've already got some engines in here, so I use 8038 as my standard locomotive, so it's the one that I match everyone else to, and these are the different things you can do. You can change all the lighting features and stuff so that it can have ditch lights or flashing lights. And, uh, I mostly just use motor control. and. Uh, speed control. So those are like it starts at speed st at that, and then uh, that's like the middle, and then high speed is there, and then I match all the other loco locomotives to it. So I run the trains around and around and around and around and around, and see I'll speed the other one up or slow it down so that it matches this guy. 
but it's a pretty cool program. I don't use the speed table because I, I think it would be more complicated to match speeds using that. But yeah, there's all my information about it. I'll just show you very briefly how I uh, set a locomotive up. So this is my little programming track. This way I can read what's already written on the decoder. Basically know what it's already programmed at. Okay, so to enter a new locomotive, new loco, maybe with a double click. Or maybe it's just thinking real hard right now. There we go. Read type from decoder. So you can see down here it's reading. To find out what figure out what kind of decoder it has in it. And I already know it's an older Digitrax. Atlas, Intermountain, Cato. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. No. There we go. SD40-2. And then save it. Whoops. Yes. Okay. Okay. He is unit 3374 save and then I can open the programmer that tells it what a uh, decoder to look for so the road name was Union Pacific uh, 3374 it's a Cato or Cato however everybody says it Molo SD 40-2, I'm going to call it a snoot, because it is, and come up here to save, and there, oh wait, now I got to do read all sheets, which will take a while on the programming track like that, but this will tell it where everything is set. So right now it doesn't know how the decoder is set up, but I told it to read it so it's going to figure it all out. This will eventually move to wherever I've had it set for the past 10 years. And this will take a while, so I'm just going to pause the recording. So you see it read, it read that CV, now it's probably, hopefully reading that one, yep. Reading the settings. So for speed matching, this is the one I use for, this as the standard locomotive, I match everybody else to him. And I take this guy off the program track. rails and uh, over here at the controller 8038 is already called up so I go MU3374 to, and then add so now those two locomotives are joined together they'll respond to the same controls so now I just turn the throttle up a little bit I can see he's moving too soon I'll have to slow down when he starts moving and obviously it's moving slower at half speed than the big guy so I will just come over to the screen here turn this down to like 10 and then write changes on sheet which means it just got reprogrammed the little computer just got reprogrammed 
and I need to speed this part up. So I'm going to go to 90. Right changes on sheet. Let's see, let's see where is he now. He's way back here still. There he is. Right changes on sheet. And he sped up a little bit. And when they come around again, I will put them back together a little closer so I can more closely see how uh, how much faster or slower he's going 3374 is going. Okay, I made a couple little changes, but let's uh, see where he starts now. They both start at roughly the same time. Still seemed really high. Anyway, it's a lot of messing around like this. I get them close and then I I get them so they're running closely and then I uh, fine tune it. Speed them up just a little or slow them down just a little. And you don't need to see that because like I said there's other videos that show it way better than I can. The main reason I bought this is to uh, was well the two main reasons to be able to program the CVs using my computer and the other thing is this the uh, wireless throttle so I can control my trains with the computer and then I think I go set it's still in use yes I want to use it then I can control it like that with the uh, laptop or I can start the wireless throttle which I think is here start Y throttle server and then I come over here to my phone engine driver and there we go select 8038 steal it yes and now I can control them with my phone And that's just about the coolest. I can add throttles, add more engines, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's the gist of it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and if you uh, want to follow along, hit the subscribe button, and uh, you can keep up to date with all the uh, other stuff I do with the layout as it progresses. Anyway, have a good day.